Now here in Green Bay, it was a normal school day, but after classes, hundreds of people gathered outside of the Brown County Courthouse to protest the governor's proposal. Fox 11's Kristen Crowley has multiple views. Passionate teachers, nurses, and union steel workers want their voices heard. Their stance on Governor Walker's proposal is clear with these signs and shouts of protest. Walker's bill is overkill. Many say they are fearful of what would happen if they lost collective bargaining. We have for a long time have been able to bargain the class size, um, the curriculum, best practice for students, and we'll no longer have that right or that say, and that's really troubling for me. If districts are coming to a, a bind with budgets as well, they can start cramming classrooms. That's not best for kids. I understand where Governor Walker is coming from as far as trying to cut the budget, but I'm not sure exactly that this is the right way to do it, and I, I would like some input on it. Others who were in the area but not a part of the protest say Governor Walker is doing what he was elected to do. He's making hard choices, uh, something the previous politicians have been afraid to do. Bill Milkey says uh, he has not right formed on, an opinion I on the proposal, really but he likes that some effort is being made in Madison to whittle down the deficit. And he says he can understand why the governor wants to do away with collective bargaining. What happens is things get out of hand when you're doing bargaining and managements offer too much, uh, unions and maybe ask for too much, and now they're trying to put things back into uh, the realm of reality, matching the public sector with the private sector. Mike Katsopoulos is a registered nurse with Winnebago Mental Health. He says collective bargaining deals with a lot of things other than money. We spend 90% of our time just bargaining on work conditions, work rules, not money. They generally come in as here's what we can afford and that's generally over very quickly. Some protesters say they have no problem making some concessions. However, they want to be included in the decision. In Green Bay, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. And some of the people at the rally were protesting for more than four hours today. At one point, police blocked traffic in the area because of the size of the rally.